Yesterday, there was a huge incident at the Bayside Market Outdoor Mall in Miami. People were running for their lives, shrieking in agony and cries of terror. Now, Miami PD gave a statement and said that people were running at a pace we've never seen before because there were teenagers fighting at the mall and the mall had to evacuate. Now, people were obviously skeptical because they like, bruh, like the police presence that showed up for teenagers fighting is probably the largest police presence we've ever saw. Esta es una llamada a todas las unidades de la ciudad de Miami. Esto es en Bayside ahora. We ain't see this heavy of a police force when JFK was in that drop top ducking tacos. Good day, good day. That's not even all of it. There's more police vehicles coming and there's like four helicopters surveying the scene. Right that base site. The police response we're seeing at the outdoor mall is equivalent to the response of a national emergency. That don't scream kids fighting at a park. Now, people who was actually there, they decided to speak out and they stated that they saw something strange. So, since nobody's going to talk about it, I figured, you know, fuck it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was uh, I was down in Miami for uh, the New Year's. You know what I'm saying? Me and my girl, I got a little timeshare. We was down there on a, um, like a mini vacay, you know, just to start the New Year's off right. So anyway, we had, we happened to be at that mall. So um, we had Foot Locker or whatever. Next thing you know, you start hearing all this commotion outside, sound like fire, like firecrackers or something. So I can hear the dishonesty in his Neanderthal's breath. It sounds like cloud chasing, but let's continue. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I grab her close. I'm like, yo, we about to get up out of here, cause I, you know, I originally thought that they were shooting. You know what I'm saying? I thought, you know, some type of um, gunfight had broke out, whatever the case is, cause you know, we're not familiar with Miami, we're not familiar with the city. So I'm like, damn. I ain't even got my blick, so you know what I'm saying? We about to, we about to, we about to swerve. Next thing I know, it's like crazy. Like we just see all these people running, like you know, uh, fat, fat, fat chicks, you know, old ladies. Like I'm talking about moving. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, old people even move. I'm talking about moving. So you know, my girl, she like, what's going on? I'm like, fuck all that. We out. Like I'm not gonna ask no questions. We just gonna follow the crowd. As you should. I feel like one group of people, like, don't ask any questions, right? If there's a crowd running this way, frantic and screaming, I'm running that way too, bro. <laughs> I'm not going the opposite direction. And I feel like if you are part of that group, you understand what I'm talking about. Next thing you know, you know, real, like, gunshots start going off. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to, we trying to follow, the, follow the crowd, get out of there. I look back. I look back, no cap, yo. No cap. I look back. It looked like 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 a big ass shadow, but it was solid at the same time. Like a few, like a few shadows, but they were solid at the same time. And them it's it almost looked like they was coming our direction, like they was chasing us, but they was disappearing and reappearing closer. So I'm like, yo, what? So we start really moving. Next thing you know, we start hearing more gunshots, like these dudes start firing at this shit get outside mad police all that you know what i'm saying they start the police is like trying to get all the people that ran out the mall they like trying to like um detain these people whatever but you know me and my girl we ended up just you know s sliding past all that and everything like that but you know a lot of people saying why didn't nobody film and all that when that type of shit is going on you know what i'm saying shit like that like some paranormal nobody thinking about no phone he almost had me and then he said that you see, if he would have kept the story as that cool, but then he said, when something that crazy is happening, nobody is recording. Bro, have you met niggas? <laughs> have you met the group of people called niggas? Yeah, you know, when you try to give people too much credit, bro, hell nah, bro. I know niggas who will record if somebody is coming towards them with the torpedo. Bro, niggas will still record if the aliens was trying to actively captivate them, bro. They will be running like this. Are you telling me that niggas ain't record when they seen aliens, bro? Cut it out, man. 
But because of that, though, people began to take the social media in mass hysteria and pass forward the news that, yo, there were 10-foot aliens at the Miami Mall. Drama Alert posted it, and other news outlets posted it as well. Now, people dropped footage of these so-called aliens. They posted this particular footage here. Uh, even Chris Brown would take to his IG story to further the hysteria by asking why people aren't talking about the 10-foot aliens, which I agree. Why aren't people talking about it? You see, I got footage of the 10-foot aliens. You, you see, Flacco is well-connected. I know people in the agencies, the FBIs, and I was able to obtain footage of these 10-foot aliens. Here they are. <laughs> Yo, they cool it, man, bro. They look harmless. They look like they won't harm or fly. I don't know why people were running from them, bro. They look like they won't harm or fly, man. All right, so you know, I'm hoping you know that these aliens aren't harmed. I'm hoping you know they're able to go to one of these sanctuary cities and get free housing, get some free snacks, hotel, a bus ride, you know, and hopefully they integrate into society perfectly. Right. Yo, how I wake up, my shit jumping like the trap. Nah, but for real, like, like real shit though. On the dead homies, I was trolling. I ain't never even um, I ain't never even been to Miami. <laughs> shit, yo, y'all be bugging. Yo, real shit though. Y'all stay away from them fucking aliens and all that. Y'all be y'all be safe out there. So while social media is in mass hysteria, while news publications are risking like their dignity and integrity by reporting this <laughs> the person who started the whole hoopla <laughs> came on social media and admitted that he trolled everybody hey listen man y'all gonna stop believing everything y'all hear on social media bro like, y'all gonna stop that also if you're still watching click on this video here on my screen kevin hart responded back to cat williams but he instantly regretted click on this video here to find out why i'm out of here folks Peace.